So hello from SAS Business Class, guys. It's my first time flying it, uh, which is insane, given that SAS is my national carrier, and I'm so excited. Today, I'm reviewing my home airline. Can you believe I haven't done this yet? I'm fortunate that the Swedish credit card market really offers an incredible opportunity to redeem miles for SAS Business Class for the same price as Economy Class, but more on that later in this video. This is a two-part review. One will be my first flight from Stockholm to Chicago. That's the one in this video. And then the second will be of their A340 on a flight from San Francisco to Copenhagen. So let's start with what I love about their cabin. It's stylish in the most Scandinavian way and the design really speaks to me. Some people like the glitz and glamour of Emirates, but if I had to choose, this is just more appealing. The dark design paired with the pop of colors of the SAS logo and the storage area makes the cabin feel exclusive. All seats in SAS business also have direct aisle access which is better than most of their European competitors. There are just four seats per row in a one to one configuration, which is great whether you're traveling alone or with a companion. If you're in a window seat, you'll want to choose the even numbered seats, which are further from the aisle. There were only 80 passengers on this flight, so the business cabin was quite empty, but I'm sure the people in economy were having a ball. I managed to jump around the cabin for takeoff and landing, even though I was seated in a center seat for most of the flight. Pre-departure, I was served a choice of orange juice, water, or champagne. After takeoff, the menu was distributed. The cover design is so, so cute and Scandinavian that I have it on the wall in my apartment right now. The food looks quite good on the menu, especially the caviar service, which is really rare in business class. All right, so let's have a look around the seat. Uh, there's a beautiful sunset outside, so I just want to show... <laughs> anyway, I don't know why I said that. But anyway, here on the left side, there's not really anything. But then on the right, we have a bunch of different controls. The mood light button controls the lighting in our little storage area. There's a bunch of space here. The tray table comes out like it is. And it's quite adjustable, which I always love. Then we have more seat controls over here. A little reading light with several different settings. Uh, power port, USB, and uh, another little remote. A water bottle in here, our headphones, our amenity kit, our menu. Ugh, it's just so, so stylish. I love it. Unfortunately, SAS's amenity kit is super basic with only a few necessities, so no luxury here. The headphones are good though and work similarly to the Bose QC25s. Sadly, the entertainment system was not as impressive as the headphones and options were honestly quite limited. Oh my god, these are so noise cancelling, I can barely hear my own voice. The meal service started with some nuts and apple cider. Next, my vegetarian starter was served, which was B-A-S-I-C, basic. The main course was also basic, but at least the flavors were incredible. 
They serve ginger, soy, and sesame-infused beets and vegetables with rice. However, Finnair still blows SAS out of the water in this area, which is disappointing given that one in three Swedish millennials now follow plant-based diets. So guys, this uh, meal may not look like much, but it is so, so good. It's really well uh, spiced. There's garlic, there's ginger. Because when I first saw it, like usually when I see just vegetables and rice, I feel like that's the cop-out cop out edition for airlines when they make uh, vegetarian food. But today it was actually very well spiced and tastes great. Two cool things that are relatively unique to SAS Business Class are free Wi-Fi for all Business Class passengers and a big snack bar at the back of the cabin with plenty of things to nibble on during the flight. The bathroom also contains a live plant in Business Class which is surprisingly refreshing to have on a plane. Once on board, I could tell that the crew were super passionate and engaged which I wasn't expecting from SAS to be honest. Especially the purser was so charming and sincere, she made me feel really welcome. Keep in mind that the service was still Scandinavian though, so don't expect SQ or Qatar level attention to detail and professionalism. After takeoff when I asked if I could switch seats, the flight attendant said, well, it's always a question of, and signaled with her fingers for money jokingly, obviously. So bedtime is finally here. I'm so excited to go to sleep in this cozy, cozy looking bed. So let's have a look. The, uh, the bedding is from Hestens, which is a Swedish uh, bed brand, I guess. Uh, but it, I love the Scandinavian, like, simple and fresh vibe of this. So I just wanted to let you know that for everyone who lives in Sweden, as I mentioned, there is an incredible way to get SAS Business Class for the price of economy using points. And I've compiled an entire spreadsheet that breaks down this information. It has everything you need to know about the Swedish credit card market, what the options are, what the best redemptions are, and it's right in the description below. If you live in another country, the best I know is that you should redeem miles through your regular programs, usually Aeroplan or United will be really good for that in the US, maybe a as program as well. I might talk about this a little more in another video, but mainly if you live in Sweden and maybe if you live in Scandinavia, uh, the link in the description to the Google Doc I made will be really helpful and breaks this all down. Some wake up juice, that's very nice. And it's light out. How? I don't understand. But we're flying over the North Pole, which is so cool. Okay, I slept insanely well, and now it's time for some grapes and a delicious Swedish candy that you have to get if you go to Sweden. It's like a, it's really a classic. I'm about to get my computer out and do some work. Alrighty, and the pre-arrival meal is served. Olives that still have plastic wrap on. Uh, a samosa with some vegetables. Uh, and if you check out my SAS Plus review, this is pretty much exactly the same pre-landing meal we got there. So overall, SAS business was exactly what I was expecting to be in some aspects, but surprising in others. 
Starting with the negatives, the food, entertainment system, and amenity kit were all too basic. I'd love to see a bigger investment in these aspects of their business class experience to make it feel more premium. The seat was fantastic, although it felt less sturdy than I was expecting, and sometimes it felt like it was going to fall apart. The most positive aspect of the flight though was definitely the crew, who were by far the best SAS crew I've ever had. However, SAS's service structure makes it really hard for them to shine and it comes off as lazy with an assembly line procedure and leaving things like wrappers on food just doesn't give the most premium feeling. So, the product is perfectly decent and better than Lufthansa and British Airways in many areas. When it comes to European airlines, SES business is in the upper ranks. Ladies and gentlemen, most welcome to Chicago O'Hare Airport. All these planes are on approach. It's insane. This is my finger, by the way. But O'Hare is just insanely busy. 